in the book of 2 John, and I'm writing to the chosen lady and her children whom I love in the truth, as does everyone else who knows the truth, because the truth lives in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace. John says, how happy I was to meet some of your children and to find them living according to the truth. Dear friends, we should love one another. This isn't a new commandment. This is one that we've had from the beginning. Love means doing what God has commanded us. I say this because many deceivers have gone out into the world. They deny that Jesus Christ came in a real body. Such a person is a deceiver and an antichrist. If anyone comes to your meeting and does not teach the truth about Christ, don't invite that person into your home. Don't give any kind of encouragement. Anyone who encourages such people become partners in their evil work. Stop for a moment. When you read this and reflect on what these three promises truly are, grace, mercy, and peace, we also are adopted as children of God. We are heirs of his kingdom. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but then you don't show it. You say that you have faith for you believe that there is one God. Good, good for you. Even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. How foolish. Can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Yes, of course I want you all to place your faith in Jesus Christ. Of course I want you to grow in your knowledge and understanding of what scripture teaches. But even more than that, I want us to put all of these things together so that we can be transformed. Faith in Christ must result in practical application because of our great love for Christ. It drives us to love one another. We share what we have. We grieve with those who are grieving. We celebrate with those who are celebrating. And we do this because we love Christ. Those who are here right now talking to the church back then but friends i would also say talking to the church right now right now the goal of these deceivers that john has termed antichrist is to set themselves in the place of christ it wasn't faith in jesus that mattered what mattered was more knowledge if you just understood more then you would be saved guess who had that knowledge they did they came to teach a different gospel. Paul warns us very, 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 very specifically about believing in any gospel that is different than the one that we received from the beginning. Paul says, let them be burst. And some of it, man, it's convincing. Some of it's gonna pull on your heartstrings. It's deceptive. John says, watch out. And this is why we must study the word of God. Study the truth so that we're not led astray when something shiny and flashy and cunning comes our way. Watch out. Be in the Word of God.